up to the winner's bracket round two. Somehow, someway, beating out that team, which is now currently fighting for their lives in the lower bracket. We've seen some dramatic turn of events over the course of the bracket thus far with several teams that you expect to be in the minor in the major itself in fact not making it through cloud nine eliminated earlier on in the round one of the lower bracket so things aren't looking amazing we'll talk more about that in detail when it comes to the uh, the matches later on down the line because for now we're really getting the pistol round of dust to the first map of this best of three as picked by the boys over from luminosity We'll start things off on the CT side as appropriate. Try and kick things off on a pretty competent map for them. The USP is out for Neckies. So it looks on line to try and take down the first player out towards the B bomb site. So Brosa will strike out towards the mid, though. Deal with Steel. And Infinite ready to catch off Lucas all the same. So Lazarus with control. Only part of things, the frags going their way and control having. Over the T side, Zelos just takes out Henny as the next man up. Oh, the bomb plant should be secured here as the CTs have been driven away from the A bomb site. Indeed, the plant does go down with Luminosity. No real chance to make this whole thing work. They are getting picked apart by the Lazarus side. The T side starting 1v5 left for Bolts. And USP is and Glocks eventually face him down. Do take him out. The pistol going to go to favor of the Lazarus boys. And again, great early start to kick things off. I'm expecting this one to be a close match as well, by the way. I think a lot of people are expecting this one to be down to the wire. Could well go to three maps. I think Luminosity are a slight favourites just due to name value alone, but even then, Azra has some pretty decent players of their own right. Anyone's matchup as Lazarus goes straight in to the rush here on the second round force play against Luminosity. Zelsis takes out Bolts to kick things off. Henny here with a scout will catch the Brosa on cross. Damage being done to the T side line. We'll turn a four versus four. And they could potentially go and force the issue on the retake. They have got the HP advantage. And now they've got the man advantage as Nekish chimes in on towards tens. Bomb plant down from FNS as the utility comes pouring in from the CT forces. Still going to get caught off guard. And FNS here in the scope is in from the scout. Turns on the spread in the second. Trying to get a third as well. But Nekis turns it back to two versus two. And Infinite have to try and respond here for Lazarus. Spot sprays. Can't take the man down. Backstab also coming in towards the tunnels. They're going to be wary of that much. Watching out the Beedles. Infinite hearing those footsteps. Does turn on to Nekis. Not ready for Lucas though. He thinks it's his teammate. Thinks his Elsus was making noise. And one versus one left. He still gets the AK spray. Headshot land of the second kill. And Lazarus do lose four players in that exchange, which is quite an expensive round, but Luminosity will not be able to capitalize on that just yet. They have got an eco up ahead of them. AK's in a standard, the MAC-10 for Sabrosa, leaving a few and pieces open for Lazarus at this stage. Push coming in from Steel. We'll get dealt with by Zelsus. Ten turns on towards Neckies. Out towards the lower tunnels. And bolts. P250 at the ready. Try to chase down Sabrosa. We'll catch him with a headshot. Nicely done. And kill found Zelsus looking on land. We'll be able to take the next trade back. A lot of damage being done to him and Ten. In the end, Lucas and FNS will face uh, in towards him and Henny. Nice confident start there. Standard anti eco coming in from Lazarus. And now they have the buy-ups. Two AUGs from Bolts and Steel. M4 for Neckies. And Lucas and Henny also buying into the automatic weapons. So fully all maxed out from both sides in this matchup. In this roundup here. A suicide rush coming in from three players down to the mid position. They're trying to look at isolate Nekis and they might be able to find it. Infinite with a spray. There's not connect to the headshot and doesn't connect with a kill either. 43 HP. He stays alive to hold down the mid to B position. Sparosa will grab that bomb. And push up with the main T side force as well. FNS has established tunnels control. Expecting Luminosity to progress down this angle, but no one's really going to go for it. Pretty hot on the part of Neki, so he's going to play passively out on window. The minute and ten still left 
Lazarus do have a little bit of mid control, mostly short control though. Certainly worried about the face in towards that mid position. Don't know if Nekis has that AWP, whether Luminosity will have any sort of AWP out in the mid position or anywhere else on the map. Of course. I don't know if that is just yet that they don't have anything. Was that sort? Neck is taking an advanced angle now. It's about in low HP. Little spray on Sabrosa and gets a second headshot of infinite. That's massive. The spray trade can come back from Bolts. Look onto FNS towards the tunnel's position. Backed up alone. Rotation's got to come in for CT forces, but he still gets the double kill. And Zelsis, the only man standing, a one versus four. Luminosity looking like they're going to lock out a pretty confident round here. Bolts probably will get traded, and indeed he does. But Zelsis. Four kills to find here in the clutch scenario for Lazarus. And UG in for steel nades up against Zelsis. And he'll start peeking in. This could be dangerous. Still gets the spray to the headshots. So that's one good frag. But is he ready for the next man over in the tunnels? Not quite. But Molotov down towards B doors instead. So he repositions. I think that Lucas will call that info out to Henny. He hasn't seen any cross. So there's only really one place that he can be at. Our face together. Looking on last spray through. Zelsis spotted. Sprayed up. Lucas will take the AK and it will be the defuse coming through from Luminosity. A bit of close to a fair there from no defuse kit, but. There you go. First for LG. He's going to try to challenge out towards the long house. Damage is going to be done early on by Lucas. The flashbangs continue pouring in for Lazarus. It's Rosa going to spot the first man. Tries to run towards the second. He knows that Lucas is there. His teammates will try and cross fire with him. Celsius will take the man down. Five on three situation. A bit of a cluster over to the outside long house area. Still now going to get more top. Now this could be a peek in that gets Celsius a frag. Taps on taps, he actually gets the wall bang through the car. I'm not sure whether he knew or whether he was just lucking his way to victory, but either way, it's a frag. Nekis gets traded FNS with a TK on Zelsis, unfortunately taking his own teammate down, but it's a one for four trade. And Luminosity on the back foot bolts. The best stance here towards CT spawn and smokes go up. Nades do land. Actually, that doesn't quite take out Saprosa. Only one point of damage done to him, but he's given up his position and tends to be ready for the spray. In towards top mid as well, alongside Infinite. And Lazarus are able to strike right back on Dust 2. AKs the T side back out to try and take control. Scout for Bolts trying to land the first frame. He will get FNS in the back, but will not be able to get the headshot, will not be able to get the kill. Sabrosa face it against Lucas, takes him down all the same. Five on four scenario. Zelsis takes steel back to five versus three, so even more kills coming in for Lazarus. The standard aggressive angles being shut down. Lazarus continue moving in towards the B tunnels. No one here on the B bomb site. It's Luminosity, of course, conceding the man advantage, conceding control, and now we're gonna probably concede, concede the round here for Lazarus. Plant gets established and scout from bolts. The only thing they have to work with at this point, probably best to save it. Let's catch Zelsis on the uh, Quick shot, but again, no frags for him, and second frags will not come through from a low HP T side player. He just about evades the peak coming in from Infinite. Meanwhile, Tenzin and Sabrosa flashing and nailing their way in through Longhouse, probably gonna get some control out and go hunting for these last few CTs. I mean, it's not gonna be too much worth it to go for the hunt. Obviously, the scout out would be fantastic, but in the end, it is Kev Lola's players, most of which with the USPs. Damage being done, eventually Henny will get taken out. So one more kill to add to the kill count to Sabrosa.
There's Luminosity stand here at four rounds, lost bonus. Force by coming out with SMG for steel. So not ideal here for Luminosity. And they go towards the Longhouse Challenge once again. Nathan against the likes of Sabrosa. The manic spray from Lucas just doesn't take him down. AK from Zelsa is also going to be here. Looking in, smoking up corner, and Infinite going around this corner with his own right. Flashbangs in from the CT side, will keep them suppressed, and a further smoke's down trying to block off Saprosa, but he still mollies out, tries to force a position out from Lucas, instead just keeps him held back for the moment as the Molotov burns away, and he does actually get an angle to work with against Infinite on the boost spot. One kill found, Neck is also towards mid doors, deals with FNS, as Tens also looks in towards the B bomb site, he's going to check his left hand side, has no idea that Bolt's into his left hand side, and indeed the spray will come through with Tens, no idea what's about to side swipe him. Zelsis and Sabrosa watching their teammates get picked apart right in front of them. Zelsis falls and Sabrosa does get one kill in trade, but SMG here for Steel should be more than enough to get the frag, get the AUG, and get the round for Luminosity. Couple of doubts coming into that one with the uh, AKs out against the one SMG that Steel had. In the end, the long control, more than enough damage done by Luminosity. The rebuy can get called by Lazarus, obviously. Many rounds in their favor. Economy has been built up. Luminosity are going to be down to three rounds lost bonus, though, and that's going to be the main concern for them right here. They lose control of this one, then it could end up being lights out. At least for the next few rounds, and Lazarus can take easy control. But the same could also be said for Luminosity. If they can shut down Lazarus here, then... There's no lost bonus for the T-side players to fall back on. Case in point. Lucas takes out Saprosa, $4,000 on his line. He can potentially buy, but everybody else on hundreds. His tens continues to trade back for the Lazarus side. 3v3, Henny. Still holding on the AWP back on the B bomb site. Trying to watch out towards tunnels, back behind the big box. Boosted up on Platt. Infinite will not reface. He says he's going to rotate around and join the likes of tens. Outside Longhouse here with the AWP AUG. Swapping about the rifles. Thirty seconds remaining. They haven't really got the map control established. They've got short control now. They realise that actually no one is here. CT side, Molotovs and nades in. Got a smoke down cross here. It's half the job here on the part of Lucas. Taps on sprays and Neckers will try to get the bomb at bay. If he can do this, this might be a decent enough pickup. If he can get the frag on the bomb planter, indeed. The bomb's controlled. Spray on tens. Trade back by Infinite there to keep the man advantage for Lazarus. Then the bomb plant will be established by Zelsis. Last man standing is Henny. AWP in his hands. And some sort of angle to work with out towards. One kill found on Infinite, two kills to his name. A third one to be found on the likes of Zelsis. Looking on land, trying to catch him. He creeps around the boxes, spotted out. The AWP tries to flick, but can't flick the frag still. Zelsis is known to the CT player as Henny quick scopes, but can't take him down. The time is too far ticked to this point. Zelsis will just face, try and take this frag with him. We'll keep Henny on the bomb site. And all 10 players will go down. Timeout will come through for Luminosity here in this next round. As once again, Lazarus doing unexpectedly well with them. And the key thing you've got to remember about Lazarus right now is that they are not playing with their full lineup.
Missing out Swag and Ye. Swag for obvious reasons. Ye, I'm not really sure why he's not playing in the minor qualifiers. Not heard any news about him or why he's not in. But I digress. It's a question I can look into a little bit later on. Four round lead still in play for Lazarus. So they don't have to worry about that much too much. Control out towards the mid phase and towards the long house. Zelsis will take out Nickis, kicking things off. A lot of damage done towards him in the mid position though, so might have to be uh, backed up a little bit more with the likes of Saprosa. As Lucas and Henny also peeking out towards the mid doors. AWP recovered as Lucas does get that trade back on Zelsis. Knows that he's extremely low, so... Let's find the angle to work with, and the spray is good enough. The four versus four at 60 seconds on the clock. So Lucas catches one more face in the mid area. Out towards Suicide in particular is where Tens is going to hold from. And suppose we'll try it back on Bolt's Remo on the A site here, so the bomb plant will be secure with... Positions established towards Goose, Sight, and Short. But Lucas here towards Ramp, not being covered off. He takes the first man down, looking for Infinite as a second spray down. The headshot's landed. Four kills for Lucas. On for the ace against FNS, who's facing out wide in the open. And Lucas, a very good chance of this right now. Just continue checking every single angle. FNS is spotted out by Steel, who sprays him down, takes him out, and gets the third on the ball for Luminosity. A fantastic hold from the CT side. Lazarus is kind of crumbling to pieces there with no trades. Spray in for Nekis, kicks things off for the CTs against the eco of Lazarus. FNS down. Triple man boosting towards the B bomb side. We're not getting any information, not getting any kills against the likes of Steel, so. Flashbang's over and Lazarus will peek up. Sprays in from Steel, lines in. Three kills up for the man and he takes them all. Infinite trades back, but only one frag found. The AK will get quickly recovered by the SMG. Easy as that for Luminosity. The standard eco coming through from Lazarus, coming about as well as you would expect it at this stage. Dorps it on two, two AKs out still for the CT side versus the four AKs brought back down by Lazarus as they quickly play into the B-bomb site here. This towards the B-bomb site setup, the Molotovs will go down immediately from the likes of Lucas, keeping control out as Lazarus. Smoke down for Infinite goes. Flashbang in tow as well. Four players up versus two of the CT crossfire. As Lucas gets the first man down, Infinite trying to train him back, knows where he is on the bump site. We'll deal with Nekis and Lucas. Also close range positions, back over at car, spraying manically as the smoke starts to clear. He still gets down Infinite for the 2k, 3k line up on the likes of 10s. As Zelsis trades, Lucas still holds Zelsis, last man standing. 1v3 scenario, we'll be able to isolate the one kill on the low HP player with the B-bomb to the defensive. Also see Henny as well, knows where that AWP is, but can't get behind hard cover just yet. Steel also wraps back in from the backstab. Spotted out still, the orb shot misses from Henny. Nades in against him, Molotov away. Zels as we forced out the face and actually will smartly make his way towards the left side of the stack. As Henny spots him still regardless, gets his 2k, gets the fifth for Luminosity. Then one only of the lead of Lazarus thus far. The 
Eco should come through here. Sprays back. And Steel opens up with tens. Getting a trade back with the Glock at the very least. The Eco doing a little bit of damage for the T side line, but nothing significant so far against Luminosity. Ian Lucas could get traded, but the AWP Henny cuts off the short control. The two players remain going mid to B. With Nekis, the only man on the bomb site. Backed over towards corner, not looking in through window. Might be able to catch the two players with these sprays on the first man. Not quite a second, but here's the shots coming in, and Henny. And a back him up from CT Spawn. And again, anti eco dealt with easily by Luminosity. Six to six. And the buyers will come through for Lazarus. AK's on four, plus the AWP of tens. No head Kevlar, which might be a little bit of a problem against the likes of the M4 with bolts and the AUGs at range. Lazarus quick into the default, into the B site default, in fact. Bomb dropped out there initially. Got two players up top mid and outside of the longhouse, ready for any aggressive faces from Luminosity. There's only a little bit of aggression coming in from Henny, but not that much. You can see the very tiny gap is now focusing. Knowing that there's probably going to be some sort of B site presence. And when we get fo forced off angle. No rotation coming in from the CTs out towards the short position, and eventually Henny does face out, does take tens down, kicks things off for the CT side. One face he was looking for, and tens hoping to punish it. Unfortunately, he doesn't. Past the 60 second marker, Lazarus are now down by a man. AWP is picked up on FNS's part. Neki's backed over towards ramp. AUG in play, 45 seconds left on the clock. They're taking a sweet time with this one. The XU is going to come in very, very soon. Smokes down, Zelsis. Martoving in, and Lucas flashed out completely. You had a flashbang. There's not spot. Zelsis does turn the spray around eventually. No one has more T side players here towards Short Neckies or trying to just burst in with the AUG. Gets the headshot there, Finesse dropping that bomb. Infinite health back over the Viking. Will get bolts for 10 seconds left. And he's got no more time to get this bomb plant. Backstab in for the Bros. Will only get damage done. Second kill found as well. The CTs will just fall back. Hold their lines, hold their angles, and Sabrosa will probably get faced up by Lucas. Can he get the kill on the way out? Not quite. Sabrosa out towards Longhouse. Holds onto the AK, gets three players down, but damage doesn't mean much to Luminosity. They've got plenty of cash at round 14. Confident buy for this round. The next round might be a bit questionable if Lazarus is able to take it. But even then, you take a look at what they've got on the T side line. It's only a half buy around the AK for Sabrosa. Three T side players make their way up and over through the V tunnels. Tens watching out the mid face once again from T spawn. Actually gets the opening kill on Henny. Good headshot. Found the first man. Martov's in. Sabrosa seeing bolts trading out. 5v3. Looking for Lucas as well. But Nekis and Lucas are able to try and bite back. Ten still frags away with a scout. Double kill for him. And AUG picked up by FNS. Can they recover that AK in the CT mid area? They will be able to do so. And Zelsis picks up the mantle. Can he get the kill on Lucas? He's tempted for the aggressive phase. He'll be spotted and sprayed. Headshot found. Lazarus on his half by Well, maybe they might actually be able to take it. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Bomb plant down towards the corner. Steal. Making his way in, coming out of CT now. We're going to face against Zelsis. The scout also will be in play. Whoops. Giving up a position. Zelsis will be able to take the control. And Lazarus even up again. Great round from there. And again, I counted them out way too early. I thought it was over with that half bite.
AKs and AWPs coming in for the T's against the full blind rifles of Luminosity as standard. Short control established by Lazarus early on in the default. Infinite round of the corner. Flashbangs are counted out by Lucas here. Second face as well, supported by his teammate. Nades in against him, will do the damage. I think he knows this approach is close to the corner. Molotov's in, trying to force them off angle. Eventually, they will be able to drive any short control away from LG. Molotov's down to the corner, going to force a peek in from Bolts. AWP doesn't catch him, but the Molotov does. His 10 finish off the job. Still manic spray back over at CT. Loses a lot more HP than he can really bargain for. Five points versus 22 of damage done to Infinite. And Saprosart holds the line here towards the CT cross. Bomb plant down. Five on four. Lazarus are tagged up. Luminosity obviously have to go to the retake as the last round of the half. All the wall bangs, all the suppression, all the information being called out. Infinite eventually gets a spray back on Nekis. And Lucas, Henny, Steel, how do they fight their way out of this one? Orp continues to face up, catches the Orpa back of the CT side. Tens kicking around with two kills and Steel. And Lucas still suppressed back here to CT spawn. This is a round for Lazarus. As they take the half at eight to seven, Luminosity struggling early on here in the series as Sabrosa actually gets that kill instead of Tens with the wall bang. But again, very good start, a very confident start from Lazarus here. Going into the CT side, the pistol round comes in for Luminosity. One player playing early and quickly out to a long, through the long house. Lucas will already go. Smoke flash for Henny. PT50 dropped out by him to Bolt. So he'll be playing raid boss for Luminosity. Backup support. Or just straight into the bomb site. Smokes down, looking like it will be a B commitment that will force some rotation out from the CT forces. One player on short. And meanwhile, Lucas looks to strike in against Infinite. That will pull their attention back away from the B bomb site. The flashes come in. The real hit is out. Zelsis will be extremely close range here at the smoke. So he will get one. Tens with a secondary kill. Lucas trying to frag back over towards the B A bomb site. And they will clean house, leaving only Tens the last man back on the B bomb site. Thank you, Director, for showing us all that action. T tours forever. Valve, your programming is fantastic. <laughs> I need an observer, man. <laughs> I need an observer. CZ and Deagles, Lazarus lose the pistol. Try to gain the force by. This is about how the first half went down. Ooh, Henny opening things up on Sabrosa. Was it how the first half went down? Scratch that. I'm thinking of a different match. Lazarus won the pistol, so excuse me on that front. Bolts, secondary kill out towards the short position. Scout in, good shot from Infinite. Takes away all their short controls. FNS is about to find out. It's now just the long players, and they're going to gamble stack here towards A, suspecting that LG will be pushed up. Indeed they are, as Lucas sprays down, looks for the boost player as well. Damage being done by the AK, picked up of FNS, spraying on through, taps on taps against Neckies. Look for the next man up, but still he does take him out. 2v1 now, FNS last man standing. Bomb dropped on the bomb site, so Luminosity have to challenge him. The spray, the tap, will be able to take the headshot. And Luminosity retake the lead. Alex 
Sprays down towards the long face. Looking like actually the CTs, well, I was going to say, might come out on top. But in the end, they storm the A bomb site. And they do take out the one player that's holding there. The bomb's still on the back of Henny. Tens catches bolts. Low HP on both the CTs. But now they've got a rifle to work with. Now towards long. I think Sprays is going to hear that. What can Tens do here? One point of health. Nothing is the answer to that question. So Bro so late on the backstab. Might still catch Vision. Might still catch Nekis. Potentially. Well, spotted out, but he's jumping in the interim. The timing on that face was completely terrible. And the bomb plant will be secured. So Bros are probably best to hold on to the rifle. Indeed, he will. 20 points of health. It's not worth it. Indeed, the AK will sit to the favor of the CT side, at least going in to the next buy-up, but not much more than that, Luminosity. Looking for their three rounds on the T side. For their double digits at this stage against Lazarus. Will they catch the Brosa, though? I don't think they will. It looks like it's going to be able to rain a life. He's not going to go for the aggressive peak, and indeed the Krieg. Remains in play for the CT side. So one scope weapon, probably a scope setup as well. Tens can afford the AWP. There you go, that's exactly what he'll get. Double flash smoke, doesn't need that utility just to play the cannon. Mac Tens and scouts for Nekis and Henny. On the LG side, Lazarus do technically have the better buy. Actually, the better economy state as well. The amount of investment has to come through. Neck is having one they good on his back 10. Drops in the CT spawn. Gets Zeltis still chimes in on towards FNS. And now they have B bomb site control. Four versus three. And yes, Neck is will go falling. But his sacrifice is noble. He didn't give up anything to the Luminosity side. And he got to kill out for it. Siphoning off the CTs from the B bomb site. No rotations can come through. I think they might even concede off the back of this. And yeah, they're not looking to face. Just get the exit frags, hoping someone up from the T side line will cross and attend his angle, and he might be able to get a wall bang shot or some sort of gap found in the doors. But other than that, no chance for an exit, no chance, certainly for the retake. And the reinvestment will also come out from the CT forces. Once again, M4's AUGs. The WP for 10 still in play. Of course, a lot of smokes go down towards the outside control. Zelsis with the first. FNS comes up with a second trade as Nekis gets involved for the T side line. A four versus three. Established by Lazarus. Outside a long house. This challenge being so pivotal for so many pieces of map control. And Luminosity will give up the ghost in the end. Give up the bomb. Give up the man advantage to two players. Spray back in from Bolts. Almost gives it up to three. And Zels is continuing to face up around this corner. Molotovs try and find a little bit of room to breathe. The backstab from Steel, though, is going to be the pivotal point. The only thing that they have left to try and get this bomb back. It's meanwhile, Infinite wraps back in against the likes of Bolts. And Bolts has basically got a, on a timer at this point to retake the bomb. Zels will take him down. And the only man standing is Steel in a one versus four over the A bomb site. Or pretends we'll catch him off guard. He takes him down with a quick flick. Three kills for Zelsis, though. Main man of the defensive out towards the longhouse. 21 kills for him as well. Shining everyone on his team. Not quite everyone in the server. Lucas still leads in that department by 23 kills.
AK by coming in from Luminosity. AWP for Henny. Ooh, catches a leg shot on Infinite. Two players do cross out to the B bomb site. Flashes over from Lucas. Control out towards the longhouse, but in the end, not quite as aggressive from anyone else. In it's not quite as aggressive from Lazarus either. Short control established by the LG squad. Three players up there, bomb stuff towards top mid and the back of Henny. It's Lucas Moltov's out longhouse flashes his teammates in towards the short position. Does force tends to fall back a little bit further into the A bomb site, so more map control can get picked up by the T side, but 60 seconds left for them to actually make the hit happen. And Tens is all alone as well. Suppose so is still controlling our longhouse. He's waiting for a T side player to peek up here. No such success will be found. I say that though, and they are starting to slowly move into position in what looks to be some sort of control out and neck is. AK rounds the corner, Sabrosa hearing the footsteps but not able to turn around in time. The AWP of 10 is now the only thing left standing on the A bomb site. And a push coming in from two fronts, he will get the first kill. Looking for the next Baron, close range, Nekis will just trade it. And the orb will get picked up, the bomb will get pointed back on default. Four on three. Twelve will be on the board for LG. They slowly but surely put some more distance between them and Lazarus here. Blocks brought down by Lazarus. Sabrosa and Tens with two AKs also in play for the CT line. Luminosity. Three AKs creating an AWP for Henny. And they perfect place from Infinite. If only it was a few seconds it's delayed for a couple seconds longer, maybe they'll get a lot more damage on all the players out towards that long position. Lucas taking some out towards the Bros's face. AWP versus Krieg, and both players will be pretty hardly tagged up. Now LG move into the A bomb site where that orb has got the rotate in. Zelsis will be here. Sprays in from still catching off FNS out towards the mid face. Infinite gets that first kill. Those supposed comes in with a second of box. Headshot caught off. Still is known to the CT line in CT spawn. And Lucas and Steel will try to find a way to wrap back in against the backstab, but the bomb's been dropped and the CT's noticed. They've got all the control they need. Taps on taps will try and take out the Orpa, but the flick is good. The position's great. The peak is even better. Two kills for sub. And Steel alone. There's Lazarus. Don't let Luminosity get away with rounds. Don't let them, wait, not let them get away with too many rounds, I should be clarifying. I mean, the back and forth affair thus far, but still, still in the round. Still, bit of a chance. Drops in, spray almost wins out on tens, but not quite. The tenth comes in for Lazarus. Back within two of Luminosity's lead. And again, other than that initial streak of rounds, they're not going to allow them to get consecutive ones on the Luminosity side. I mean that the buyouts can come through. It will be a forced buy back from LG. Orps in, AKs, Krieg, Mac 10, Lucas just straight up glocking this one.
Tens get steel, kicks things off out towards the longhouse face. No need to let your support from him, not quite as heavy from the T side. There's all four players that remain stack in and over to the B bomb site. Matt 10 out the neck, he catches off Celsius. The spray is good as he gets him with utility in hand. Count flash has come through, he still looks for the next mount to face up. That's the Prosa. Nades against his line will do a little bit of damage, but the Molotovs and smokes up, turn to a four versus four. Backstab in from FNS, and Henny is ready and waiting. Spray in from him, takes the man down. Four on three. That's Lazarus. Well, AWP catches Nick is going a bit overly aggressive, so maybe Luminosity overextending a bit far here. Flashes over infinite in. Lucas sprayed out. And Bots also turned on a great sequence from him. And the defuse will come through as Luminosity get wiped out on the retake. Four players alive and Lazarus. Confident out here. And holding their own against Luminosity. Back within one now of the T side lead. The bomb part not quite enough to get them up to buy status. Half by as a result here for LG. Five, six flashbangs or so. Two smokes available for the actual hit. Do establish some mid control here. In particular, Steel pushed up towards the mid doors, and Infinite will try and see if he can counteract his spots him on the scaffolding. Flashbangs over, burst on through, takes the man down, turns around for the second, and he gets him as well. Some of the third player that's moved in to that cubby corner, but. Either way, control out, Infinite getting faced in as the B site is now under siege by Bolts and Infinite will deal with that to the 3k. Nice and easy so far here, the half by dismantled by the CT forces. Lucas and Henny. Sixty seconds remain. Nades up, Marsov, Sabrosa. He's pressuring out the back of the Xbox area. I think they knew that Henny was there, but... They've made their way out and about into the A-bomb site. The bomb plant will be secured out towards short. That's just a bit of a blunder to let them get away with that much. I mean, that means that the half by was pretty much successful. Spray up, jumps around the corner, FNS gets that one and the second kill. Two for him, infinite and low HP, but staying alive, all five alive. And I think that's a tactical pause being called in by Luminosity. Let's find out. Might well be here because it has been a, uh, a decent start for them on the T side, and yeah, that's exactly what they'll do. This rifle round could be pivotal for Luminosity. AK is in, Krieg for Lucas, AWP for Henny, and the double ops as well for Sabrosa and Tens with three AUGs out for the Lazarus side. Means that it's going to be full scope setup. All set to utility for everyone in the server except for Henny. T side flashes over towards Longhouse. No aggression to come back from Lazarus. FNS will try to put some nades down range. Won't catch anybody, but he will be able to put the likes of Zelsis up on the bomb site to try and defend against it. Meanwhile, Henny looking on towards the mid cross infinite. Cross back from B to A and get tagged up for his trouble. That does not leave him in a very ideal position. And he flashes his way in, looks on over to the A bomb site, and FNS is here, ready to try and cut them down. Two more players to back them up on short as well, as LG are basically committing entirely to this push, losing all their utility towards it. Molotovs, one smoke that's left. Two pieces of utility is still sprays through against the Broser, completely blind on the A bomb site. Zelsis will try and nade back the ramp position. 
his teammates are tagged up. Sprays back from FNS trying to do some damage. Does tag Nekis to 2 HP, but he's able to cross. Bomb on toe. Back of steel. Spray from Lucas. Gets himself a secondary frag. Five versus three. The T's finding these. 1v1 faces, and now Flashbang's in, in for the, not ready for the mana ramp. Thinking they might have had it clear, but no, they haven't checked everything. Tens does get down Lucas, small gap at the right-hand side of that smoke. But it's only a 1 for 3, and the T's have complete control. As 13 sits to the favour of Luminosity, Lazarus forced off angles. And again, confident long control established by the Brazilians. Double up set up in the AUGs on FNS Infinite and Zels is brought back once again here. He's on control in towards the mid position once again. Neck is alongside Steel. We are towards the upper tunnels where Lucas is holding it from his own right. Molotov's down. Tends to respond with a little bit of utility of his own right. And send the area to keep them from pushing. And LG again, slow default to gain the information. No man advantage though. No damage done except for FNS down a very minimal amounts of HP. Six points of damage done to him, and that's about it. Stack up towards the long and short split into the A bomb site. 40 seconds of the AWP peaks up. Sabrosa doesn't give up his angle. It's all going to rest in the hands of FNS. Seeing what he can do. 30 seconds as the AK faces around the corner. Looks for the lone CT that's here to face. Spray in, takes him down. And Sabrosa with the AWP response. Looking back on towards short, where there's still spray. Will shut him down. Still one man left here towards Goose. He'll spray up, take down Steel, and that'll stop the bomb for a couple seconds. But doesn't line the bomb partner himself. And actually, Tens locks out the cross on the AWP. 12 seconds left, and Henny's got to try and get this trade frag. He's got to get the bomb picked up right now. It's out towards Cross. I think Tens has done it. He's just about Henny. Planting for long as he got this in time. Oh, a split second left. Tens. Thought he had everything. And now Infinite facing in towards Long, trying to catch off Henny, trying to take him down. And looking for a flank position, his tens is caught off guard. Lucas close range, raise on through, back to position, double kill, triple kill overall. And Luminosity recover from the worst of positions. They were moments away from losing it back to the even standing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Have they voted on a tactical? I think they may have voted on a tactical here. They may have been a bit late to the party, Lazarus. AUG from Zelsus here against Bolt's nades up. Trying to take him down. What's going to happen here? Boost up, trying to take out Bolt. Zelsis will deal with him. Mid control established. Now the long hit comes in from the T side line, and Zelsis is getting caught off guard in the rotation. The reload, excuse me. Still with a frag. Tens close. Quick scope takes the man down. Looks back in for more, but Henny trades it back 3v3. 3v2 as he doubles up. Looks back in for more. Gets the triple. Bomb dropped towards Cross. It's a one versus one, though. And FNS has a major HP advantage. Henny switches out to the AK. That might not be the best idea for him. And FNS knows that he has an advantage, a positional advantage. 
He looks on towards short, checking out long. No CT face from FNS. Then he plans to play the exact same position that Henny's currently holding from. Back on bomb site, looking on towards long, making a lot of noise now. Once again, 30 seconds left. He's got only limited time as FNS fires off the shot with the uh, AUG giving up his angle. Smoke Molotov down. Henny will try and face back over. CT face coming in from FNS. Spot it's sprayed. Oh, he's jumping away. And Henny almost got the frag for it. Bomb plant will be established out towards long. And FNS makes his way up one versus one with a CT player. As Henny creeps around the smoke. Ringer, ringer, Rosies. No defuse kit for FNS either, so he's got to get this kill relatively quickly. And Henny hides back over at Viking. It's not an ideal plant for him. He'll be covered off by the boxes if FNS decides to take the whole 10 seconds. But he's going to check this angle instead. Around the corner. Takes Henny down. And goes for the defuse. Team Ace for Lazarus. As they just held their own in this one. And keeps Luminosity away from map point. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Whew. I thought for a second we lost connection, but apparently we didn't. We're okay. We're all good. We're all good. Technical pause being called out from whom I'm not sure. I think that maybe this is an unintentional tactical pause. A massive round, obviously, for Lazarus to gain at this stage. We go on to round 28. Lazarus fighting again for survival at this stage. The economy doesn't line up for the CT forces. Luminosity. Of course, fighting for their map point on their map pick. It's a first kill for FNS. Smoke down perfectly timed for the infinite. And here's the first episode. He's going to face forward with the SMG. Will he be able to get anything out? Will he be able to get information? He will know that they've scattered. Will he be able to find the players down towards lower tunnels? It looks like he might just do... Slowly creeping out, no CT to face, no T side control, spray in, Neckies and Henny, no idea what's about to hit them as they crumble to pieces. Lucas will take one trade back out towards the long position, but Infinite now with an off in his hands, looks for the triple kill and indeed he'll get it. One versus four, ace clutch for Lucas. Not happening. Not happening. Another pause called again. Not sure why it's technical pauses, whether there's actual legitimate technical issues or whether they're just using it because they don't know how to vote for the actual tactical pause. <laughs> no BM, no BM. I mean, it has been a problem for the entire minor qualifier, so, you know. I digress. It's not my problem. I'm just a caster. I'm just a guy who talks about the action. Of course, if this is a tactical pause for Luminosity, I would completely understand right now. They've got not a lot of cash, and the best that they can do, or the, they've got to make a decision, essentially. The best thing that I'd certainly call for is eco to OT and go from there. It seems like that's what Luminosity are going to do here, playing the long game. But, of course, that risks things in the next round. Lazarus will get to map point and on Luminosity's pick as well.
There's Luminosity play initially out towards the Longhouse. Quick rush from the pistols. FNS will get the hell out of dodge. Got a couple of players there to back him up. Two raffles to face up, suppose, with the opening kill. And he gets a collateral. Thank you, Order Raider, for showing us all this action. The Sabrosa just mops up the anti eco. Uh, <laughs> I'm still quite disappointed that we missed out a massive 4K thanks to Valve's incredible programming. I don't even know why Auto Director is being really terrible today. It's been relatively all right over the course of the last few days. And look, it even missed the ace. What is going on? <laughs> what is this? Well, buy up from Luminosity. I'm going to observe this last round because... I mean, it probably would affect my casting, but whatever. I can't stand this anymore. This is awful. It's all in for 10s. Go straight out to the B-bomb site. Lucas, first man in, up to face up. Aggressive will spray on him, but do so much damage. Neck is also dealt with as Henny tries to hold his own here alongside Steel. Five versus three. Infinite is extremely low, Mortals forcing Henny back out of position. Zelsis will get the spray down for the triple kill. And Bolt's last man standing. My observing is no much better, but whatever. 1v5 for Bolt's. You can watch him as he fails spectacularly. 10s with the last frag. 16-14. And that is Lazarus taking Luminosity's map.